Welcome to the party, pal. You're from the neighborhood, Master Chaos, back with you once again. I hope you're well. Sending you love wherever you are out there in the great, big, beautiful tomorrow. Now, the servant sale is coming up. The site is down. They're prepping for the nukes, the mid-year sale. I've got the site here, and uh, you and I are going to traipse through it. Uh, yesterday, I gave you uh, my recommendations, and today I'm going to give you my anti-recommendations. These are titles, in my humble opinion, uh, that you should probably avoid or are not necessarily worth uh, the money. Now, even even at a sale price. Now, um, with Severn, I think more than any other company, any other label, uh, there there's a whole gamut of tastes. So not everybody's going to agree. This is my humble opinion. I want to hear yours uh, in, in the comments down below. What titles should um, somebody coming new to Severn, what titles should they avoid? Like, hey, trust me, don't buy so-and-so for whatever reason. I'd love to hear that in the comments. This is a two-way conversation right here. I'm saying my piece. I want to hear yours. Uh, let's be civil in the comments and, and be pleasant with each other. We're all film fans. We all love this art form. We respect it, but we all don't have the same taste. So, with that out of the way, here's my opinion on the titles in the Severin catalog that, meh, yeah, you can skip out on. You're not going to miss much. Now, uh, I'm, I'm dealing only with Blu-ray right now because I only buy Blu-ray. However, I will be looking at the DVD section for tomorrow's video. Tomorrow I'm doing um, a video on the titles that I will be picking up and why I'm going to be picking them up. So stay tuned for tomorrow's video in that regard. Uh, for now, just Blu-ray and just my, uh, my warnings on certain titles. Let's go to where the sale begins, which is right here at Theater Bazaar. Now, I've seen Theater Bazaar. I think it's pretty good from, uh, from what I remember, but it's not something that I, I, I'm going to pick up. But um, I think it, I, it, it's okay, but I, it's not something I would warn you against. Uh, Attic Expeditions, I remember seeing it a long time ago, but it's just... Uh, it doesn't stick in my memory. The same with Plague Town, uh, in, in whether they're good or not. So I can't give you uh, a de definite on those. Uh, I'm just going to scrape through here um, and, and show you what I got. Okay, Cruel Jaws. I don't recommend it because even though you like Jaws, like I love Jaws. I love Jaws. We've got Jaws shit everywhere, man. I mean, I love Jaws. There's a little Brody. I love Jaws. But uh, this is, is a piss poor movie. Mainly for the reason that uh, the human story sucks and the Jaws stuff, the shark stuff, is all ripped off from other shark movies. So it doesn't even connect with the actors. In them. It's so strange. It's not a good movie at all. Uh, not a good movie at all. Demonia, I recommend. I love Fulci very much. But this was just a real slow burn movie. Not much happens in this one, so I don't recommend Demonia. Uh, not at all. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Uh, you know, I'm not going to shit on the Lindsay Baker box set. I think I think it's pretty good. But just know going in that the, the films are pretty slow. And they're more sexy thrillers than like, you know, out and out giallos. So just keep that in mind. They're, they're pretty slow burnish. Uh, stay away from Horrors of Spider Island. It's so boring. So boring. Boring, boring. Painfully boring. Not, not worth your time at all. Um, Carnival Magic sucks. Stupid movie. It's a Al Adamson movie. It's awful. Awful. Again, my opinion. But I, you know, I, I was not a fan. Um, I'm not a fan of Al Adamson in general. So there you go. Uh, Wax Mask. I didn't like Wax Mask. Um, I thought. I mean, there's some great nudity though. I'll say this: what fantastic boobs in this. But uh, I, I found the movie. It felt, it's a weird way to describe it, but it felt disingenuine. It felt, um, it felt kind of cheapy. And, um, I just, I, the acting was really bad. And the story was sort of been there, done that, you know, wax museum type of story. Um, I didn't like it. I, I can't recommend a wax mask. I know a lot of people did enjoy it, but I cannot recommend it. Uh, you know, I, we just watched Robo War on a Let's Watch, uh, last Saturday, depending on when you're watching this. Um, it's a good movie, but I don't know that I can recommend it, as it's pretty much just a whole bunch of, like, dudes walking in the jungle kind of a movie. I, I don't know that I, 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 
Uh, that's a tough one. It's basically a predator ripoff, but with a robot. I can't. I can't recommend that one. Uh, Death warmed up. I did not like this movie. Uh, I believe it's Australian or New Zealandish. Let's click on it. Um, and uh, assuming the discount's going to be on this, and not on this, we'll see. From New Zealand, the original New Zealand splatter epic. Eh, it's not that splattery, to be honest. I, I I wasn't in love with it. I think I saw it on Prime. It's, it might still be on Prime if you're interested in checking it out. Um, you know, you can uh, feel free to do so. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba, ba -ba 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 -ba, let's see. Anything here comes. To, oh, next of kin. I didn't like. This is a movie I really wanted to like. But it's super, super slow burny. Like, ridiculously slow burn. Uh, the ending is cool, but it um, has nothing to do with Suspiria. I don't know why they're saying that. Nothing. It's, it's, it's not paranormal at all. Um, super slow burn. The ending is cool, but it's over too quickly. I can't recommend Next of Kin, but it's, it is well made. It is absolutely well made. It's just um, not, not necessarily a super fun romp i guess um i'm being reductive but that's uh, that, that's just how i can specify it uh, better other world i don't recommend this at all this is a documentary by richard stanley now i love the hell out of the paranormal and 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 yeah, alternate dimensions and stuff like that that's kind of what this is kind of kind of kind of um, and, uh, it's an interesting documentary, but nothing happens. It's about this area in France where he lived where, like, strange shit happened. Nothing really happens. There's no evidence of anything happening. It's just talking heads. Uh, I, I mean, but then you get, like, uh, four, doc four documentaries, um, made by Richard Stanley of, of varying quality that are not worth your time either. So I don't, I can't recommend Otherworld. Uh, at all. Ooh, uh, <laughs> two female spies with flowered panties. I might pick that up, actually. Uh, my interview with Tim Lucas kind of convinced me that I needed that. I needed that real bad. Da, 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 da. There's a lot that I haven't seen, so that's why I'm sort of... um. Queen of Blood is probably a good movie, but just a heads up, it is a modern movie. It's advertised like, you know an old-fashioned kind of Italian type movie, but that's a, that's a newer film. So keep that in mind. You're dealing with something a lot newer than, than that. Um, I have both of these, but I don't. I, and House on Straw Hill with Udo, but I do not recall if they're good or not. And I hate that. I guess they're pretty forgettable, so I can't recommend them. I'll say that. But I, I just don't remember them very well. Uh, that's it for Blu-ray. You know what? Let's, let's switch over to DVD then, because that went a lot faster than I uh, thought it was going to be. Okay, so the DVDs are cheaper, but somebody told me that they take the special features off the DVDs. It looks like there's well, it looks like there's some special features here. Maybe you don't get all the special features. I'm not sure on that, but um, if you're looking for DVDs, these will be very, very discounted. Maybe 12 bucks? 13 bucks? I'm not sure, because you know it's the MSRP situation. Um, a lot of these titles I already touched on, so I'm just gonna like highlight ones that have not uh, crossed their path in the Blu-ray section that I feel you probably should avoid. Um, you know, I didn't talk about Shocking Dark. It's okay. It, it's kind of a kind of Terminator 2 meets Aliens um, kind of movie. Um, it's okay. Again, it's just a bunch of people with guns walking around a warehouse kind of movie. And those can get really, really dull really, really fast. And that's kind of the case with that one. Beyond the Seventh Door is an InterVision title. It's a very uh, strange film. I believe shot on 16 millimeter. It was not, it's not DV, it's not VHS or DV. Um, it doesn't say it here, but I don't think it was video. I think it looks, it looks a lot better than video. Slightly better than video, anyway. Um, yeah, maybe 16 or something. Anyway, Beyond the Door, um, it's boring. Uh, it's, it, it, it's creatively made in terms of sets, but but it's, it kind of drags. It kind of drags. Uh, Separate Little Children, this one takes forever to get going. 
David Gregory recommended this one to me, but I, I had a tough time with this one. It's a little slow. It is on Prime. If you want to try before you buy, you can go check that out. Uh, you know what? This is what I'm buying. Dream Stalker. I don't mind to get that. I'm sure it's shit, but uh, I'm going to get it. I'm going to give that a, a throw, as they say. Beast in Space, the triple X version. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Uh, Phobe is another Intervision title that's that's okay. It's charming, but it's also a low-budget cheeseball movie where these guys are basically trying to make um, the next uh, Escape from New York. That, that's kind of the idea. Escape from New York meets Predator, that kind of stuff. It's nowhere near the, you know, and this is saying a lot, nowhere near the quality of a Night Beast. If you know Night Beast, you know what I mean. It is what it is. Uh, it's okay, but I, I, I can't recommend it as a must. Uh, I, I cannot do that for you. Moving on, the Video Nasties Guide I might pick up because I don't know much about them. Um, and it's in stock. The Infamous Documentary. You know what? This is... Uh, we'll revisit this when I, uh, when I go over what I might be buying. That might be a long video. Because we'll be touching on a lot and looking deeper into uh, the titles and, and what they offer. And whether I think I would enjoy. Um, I normally would not recommend Birdemic, but I think it's a really fun movie. I think you would really enjoy yourself watching Birdemic. Uh, it, it is shitty, but knowing that, you're going to have a great time with that movie. Uh, it's just a, a fantastic, fantastic little movie. Um, okay, great. Uh, well, that's what I, I wouldn't recommend, um, even though I just recommended Birdemic, but that's what I wouldn't recommend in, in terms of, uh, of titles here. To be fair, I haven't seen everything that Severn has put out, which, which I guess bodes well, because I, I'm sure there'd be more that I would not recommend. But um, I do appreciate Severn. I love what they do. I appreciate the company. I'm, I'm you know friendly with David Gregory. He's going to be on uh, Hollyweird this week. On Friday, hopefully, or maybe Saturday. Stay tuned for an announcement on that. And um, I haven't seen a lot of their stuff, but um, the stuff I have, I liked. So my recommendations video is a little longer, and the stuff I'm going to be buying video is going to be uh, even longer. Um, so that's it. That has been my uh, my warnings, my anti recommendations for Severn with their Nuke the Mid-Year sale. Let me know in the comments down below what you will be picking up. Or, or did I recommend? Did I anti-recommend something that you would recommend? Let me know in the comments. Two-way conversation here. I'd love to hear your thoughts. They're, they're just as, as important as mine, if not more, because you're the audience and I'm only the, well, I guess, lack of a better word, the pundit. My friend, I love you very much. Take care of yourself. Uh, I hope this video has found you well. Get ready, the sale is just around the corner. Tomorrow, a new video will drop with some more information. Until then, take care of yourself. I love you. I remain to be continued.